What's up, everybody? I am Erica, and I am here to watch Ted Lasso, season three, episode two. So in the season premiere of Ted Lasso, um, we learned that it's official Keeley and Roy broke up. Um, his niece is not too happy about it, and she's letting them, she let them know. Also, um, Nate working for West Ham is still a jerk. He still has to um, <clears throat> go through a ritual to access his alter ego, to have the confidence that he needs to be the head coach, or so he thinks. Also, we learned that um, Ted's son spent the summer with him and he just went back and he also found out that his ex-wife has a boyfriend or friend. <clears throat> so we'll see how that plays out. Um, yeah, let's bring it all And Rebecca is obsessed with getting the better of her ex-husband, Rupert. I don't remember his name. I just remember that terrible uh, office he has for the team. Terrible office. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, and episode two of Ted Lasso season three starts now. Feeling, feeling good as hell. Uh, that the client pays for the shoot, but we pay for the overtime. So whatever. Idea. Maybe we could all have a picnic together in the conference room. Um, I can't make it. I didn't tell you when it was. I know. Oh, come on. Keely needs to be American and not Wait. British. That day, can I would say. What does that mean? <laughs> yeah. Good morning, Bill. Oh, it's. <laughs> Listen, he ain't even waited a nanosecond and he ready to move in. Hey, what's she want? Your kid's very cool. Who told you that? No one. I use body science. Jesus, sorry, eh? Thought how skittish elderly people could be because of the war. <laughs> skittish elderly people. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. Period. Is he still with this woman? Setting room up. 
Okay, is this about us getting Zaba? Oh, what? We're getting Zaba? I just wished for that 30 seconds ago. <laughs> These people are. <laughs> So let's welcome him with open arms and open minds. Listen up! No one says a fucking word around this prick unless they want my forehead through their fucking skull! Uh, okay. Because it's not West Ham. He's not signing with West Ham. He came right out and said, I will not sign with West Ham. <laughs> he like, I am making hair away with Roy. No, thank you. Looking good out there today. <laughs> cool. Trent, you gonna have to fix this with Roy. There's more fish in the sea. <laughs> so you've hired a former model with no previous experience, no higher education for a job that doesn't exist. What a killjoy. But that's her job is to be a killjoy. The way you just treated Shandy was incredibly rude. It was hurtful. What? That is a massive amount of snow globes. Oh, yeah. You cannot speak to people like that. Not here. They returned to the Premier League after a one year absence, but a widely expected. It's cold. Everybody got on coats. Why are we playing soccer in the cold? Man. Rebecca is just woo. Mm -mm. Hello, Roy. Welcome back. God, it already. The world is telling you you made a mistake, Roy. Okay. He's there. He's there. He's every fucking way. That's very nice. God damn it. Yeah. Rupert's gonna land Zaba. You don't know that. We get one goal and we're right back in this thing, yeah? But right now we are being so unoffensive, we might as well be a Hallmark Christmas movie. You know what I'm saying? McCoach, how many shots are goal we got, Jamie? What do you got? Right, so every time we're going past the halfway line, they just... Shh, shh, shh. What the fuck's a whole... Hey, look, man, I don't know who your beef is with Trim, but I'm going to need you to order off the man right now and squash it. You knew you was about to sabotage a whole lot more than a silly football match. You hear me? Thank you. And all my Christmas movies ever tell us in the future, man, they say ain't all love with their children and crushes. You can do something pillow with a Christmas tree for him. Sometimes he's also saying. He 
he's scared to go in there. I would be too. <laughs> Just punch him. Just, I mean, one. Just, just one. That's it. That's all he need. He'll act a lot different. Or kicking the balls. Either or. Mm. It's a fine woman. You are such a fucking chicken shit. I mean, if you were great, truly great, you could play anywhere. But instead you choose a club like West Ham because big and shiny and you know that they'll win whether you're there or not and you'll never have to wonder if you're still as good as you tell everyone you are but you and i know that you're not is he not using his overrated mm -hmm. I... you're overpaid and you eat too much fucking asparagus it's kept them in this match and they are one moment of inspiration away from going home y'all can do it let's go I don't like the orange uniforms, by the way. Oh! He did it again! Change my mind. Is that the one that play for Chelsea? That old play for Richmond. <laughs> 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 he like, yeah. He gonna let it, he gonna throw it away. Let it go, Roy. Let it go. I hope you're not late. Please tell Jane I said hello. I would, but uh, she still finds our relationship right now. I play no shit. That was the first time ever I thought I can't keep up anymore. Mm. There's a part of me. And maybe I should have stayed. Enjoyed myself. <gasps> Roy. Chelsea when you did, we probably never would have met. <laughs> okay, so that was Ted Lasso episode two for season three. And um, I did not cry this episode, which was good. I almost did. Um, I think the universe needs, I think Roy needs to listen to the universe about Keely. Uh, this is all the situation is going to get bad before it gets good. It just is. Um, it seems like he is like Jamie times 10 when Jamie first came to Richmond. So Jamie's going to be feeling threatened. He already does. Um, but I hope that Jamie is mature enough not to regress. Like, oh, he's being an asshole. Let me find a way to be a bigger asshole. I hope that Jamie is like, let me teach him some lessons that I had to learn. And it'll be interesting to see how this Zava 
person relates to um, Ted's homespun wisdom and down to earth nature. Because clearly that is not how Zava operates in the world that he is used to. He does not know what Hallmark Christmas movies are as well. Um, I did assume that the world got to see Hallmark movies, like the Hallmark Channel was just something for everywhere. Anyway, um, Rebecca got what she needed to get, got what she needed to be done. She did it. She found a way to get Zava to change his mind. So Rupert is not getting what he wants. So that means that he is going to derive some underhanded way to stick it back to Rebecca. I can guarantee that because his office is an evil layer. And that's what you do in an evil layer. You think about ways to um, be underhanded or criminal. So uh, we didn't get any Nate this episode. So I'm assuming we'll move back to him next episode. Um, I think that West Ham is going to have to go on a losing streak. And the relationship between Rupert and Nate is going to become strained. And... Uh, that is my prediction for at least the next few episodes. So like, comment, subscribe, definitely comment. Let me know what you think will be happening in the coming episodes. And uh, I will be back for episode three.